Hello, my loves. I have a reading here for someone, so let's get into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my collective? What do they need to know for their highest good? Okay, what messages do you have for my collective? What do they need to know for their highest good? Ooh, all right. So, it looks like there is a romantic offer that is coming in, okay? I don't know if you're making this offer, if someone else is making this offer, but it looks like someone is going to be swept off their feet, okay? Someone's very charming. They are very attracted to um, you, or you could be very attracted to them, but it looks like they are wanting to date, okay? It looks like somebody here is feeling a lack of self-confidence, okay? Okay. They feel like they are a little bit like confused about what direction to take. I guess maybe confused about their emotions. They're not sure if, you know, this relationship is going to be um, abundant or not. Okay. They might have just got out of a relationship and they're trying to pick themselves back up at this time. They're learning, they're looking at, you know, some of the issues that occurred in their past and they're trying to heal that and learn from it. Okay. So maybe that's why they're, they're having this insecurity about coming in at this time. What else does my collective need to know? This could be an earth sign that you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. But I have here that maybe this person that you're dealing with or you could feel like this sense of like irresponsibility. Like there's maybe um, making this choice or coming towards you might be... Um, a little bit of like a like maybe they're lacking common sense by coming towards you okay or maybe this might turn out bad or they might be looked at badly for coming towards you okay this could be you feeling this way or them okay take it how it resonates anything else I have here someone that's showing up in a more of a masculine um, energy. They could be a little bit older, um, but I have here that they're very caring, they're friendly, they're empathetic, they're wise, they're forgiving. Um, whoever this person is, they're balanced. They're very romantic, charming, devoted, family-oriented, and generous, okay? This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It looks like you have a lot of options at this time. There's a lot of choices and you're looking at all of them. You see possibility in some of them. Some of them you're not too sure about, but it looks like you're taking your time and you're really trying to make the right decision that's going to be right for you that is aligned with where you see your life going, okay? Whoever this person is, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they see you as their wish fulfillment. But they might be, you know, comparing you to others, sorry to say. But it looks like they have a lot of options or you have a lot of options. Okay. It looks like at this time you're focused on being independent. You're trying to get your finances together at this time. You're putting in a lot of hard work. Anything else that my collective needs to know? Okay. So I have here that you have some good news coming in. You're going to be actually starting something new. You're going to be having this new beginning, this creative spark, okay? You're going to be taking initiative. 
and you're going to be finding something that really lights you up, okay? This this new passion that you're going to be taking on. And it could be that it's a marriage or a relationship here. This one's definitely sticking out to me, so I grabbed it. But I have here happy family, uh, family reunion, um, coming home, gathering, marriage, and long-term commitment, okay? Anything else that my collective needs to know? 515 on the clock. Okay, I'm getting that they are done talking with the regular tarot. I'm going to get you some cards from here. But I think that was good. You guys ended on going towards something that is going to be like a long-term commitment or relationship, a family, um, coming home. Yes, I have your celebrations. Good time from hard, good times coming from hard work. You're going to be spending time in good company. So you might be coming home to some sort of a family reunion. I know Easter's coming up, so maybe you're coming home for Easter. Some sort of celebration that you have. But I have here that you're going to be celebrating with good company, okay? And it's going to be, you know, after you putting in a lot of hard work. Anything else? Okay. I have your challenge yourself, okay? Challenge yourself to do better. Don't set limits on your potential, okay? Your home needs a little TLC, okay? They want you to, you know, clean up, organize, redecorate, um, make your space comfortable okay so that you can spend you know your time in there unwind relax and i have here that they want you to change a bad habit kill a bad habit drinking overeating or anything else that's not serving you okay so whatever this is for you we all have addictions it could be food it could be whatever it is it, it whatever it is it would be something that that you do to escape that causes harm over the long term okay so that's how you would know if it's an addiction where it's something that you might need to do in moderation okay or just cut out totally um but you would know for you um i have here received it says you are being asked to be open to receive universal gifts this could come in the form of love money compliments healing energy and universal wisdom Know that you're worthy of these gifts and open up to them, okay? So the universe wants you to be in receive mode, okay? Maybe you have given a lot to others in the past. I'm definitely guilty of this. And they want you to learn how to receive. This may not be something you're comfortable with. So when people offer you things, you may feel awkward taking them, okay? <laughs> I'm like that as well. Um, but yes, we need to be open to whatever this is it could be love it could be money um an actual gift whatever it is spirit is asking for you to be open to receiving okay and they're also asking for you to have faith remove the doubts and questions you are ready to step into your blessings and claim what is already yours okay so spirit is saying that you already are there don't doubt yourself okay when you believe and you have faith in something and you put energy and action towards whatever that is you will start to see abundance or just you know something good being created from it okay and then I have here validate your past you did the best you could okay feel and empathize with your past but don't judge it so when you and this is it this was coming up in the readings yesterday as well when you have regrets um you know things should shoulda coulda woulda you know from the past you keep the past alive you keep that energy alive um that unhappiness feeling alive in the past and you don't want to do that you don't want to if you have to you know clear things up with people apologize whatever it is so that you can move forward then do that okay because a lot of times you're leaving unfinished business and it's going to come back anyways you're going to have to deal with it anyways so it's so much easier to get it over with and and move on and heal okay and 
you know, clear all that stuff from the past. I'm sorry, but I, I had this issue as well. So, and, and it, I get it. Sometimes you just don't want to deal with that person or that situation. It's just too taxing. And we, you know, we, we find excuses to get out of it, but we're still holding on and we have to let go. We have to move on and forgive. Somebody could have the initials L, V, or P. Okay. Anything else? For my collective. Somebody could have had a one night stand. Um, I don't know if that's you or whoever you were dealing with here. And they could have um, got an STD. Okay. I have here Capricorn and too much alcohol. Someone could be a business owner. I have addictions, drugs, alcohol, sex, gambling. Okay. And I have here, you love them. So whatever that means to you. Anything else for my collective? Let's see if I can get some from my other deck here. Anything else that my collective needs to know in regards to their situation? forgiveness. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. I have here, I'm sorry. I also have Virgo and I have has other people in the way third party. So somebody could have a third party or other people doesn't mean they're cheating. They just could have other people that are getting in the way of this connection at this time. Anything else for my collective illness. Somebody could be ill at this time. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Somebody loves jazz music. Somebody is into Star Wars. And let's see if we can get one more for my collective. Somebody could have a beard, okay? So that is your reading. I hope this helped you all. And I hope you have a lovely day. Take care.